Now I'm gonna show you how to import a photo into sketches for you to draw on top of. So it's fairly simple, pretty straightforward. In order for this step to work for this project, you need to have already saved the Zangtangle template from your slide in your camera roll. So if you haven't already done that, please go back to lesson four and save the Zentangle template to your photos. This must be done on an iPad. Obviously it's not gonna work if you try to do this on a computer or a PC, it has to be on your iPad. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my sketchbook and something that I didn't show you in the demo that I'd like to show you very quickly, which is going to lead us into importing our photo, is this little gear on my blank paper. Um, right now we are using a white paper with small grain, but there are other options. You can make it look like it's on watercolor paper, or you could choose a color. So back to this, I'm gonna click that gear, and I'm going to click on import photo. And then I am going to go to my photos, and find my template. And at the very bottom, there's an X, meaning no, I don't want it. You could resize it or the check mark. I'm just gonna click check mark. And then if I click Zen view, I have my template in here. So what I recommend doing, I'm gonna go out of Zen view because I'm going to go to my fine point marker and I'm going to click black. And I'm actually going to make sure the opacity is all the way up, but the size is smaller. And to slide your pens away, all you do is you slide it to the left. Then what you are going to do is start zentangling. This rectangle that is drawn on top of the circles is the divider of the circles. So let's take a look at this guy real quick. The top half I might do pattern on like this. but I'm going to stop at that line because that circle is divided. 